Hi everybody and welcome to STEM Challenges! My name is Michaela and I work at the St. Albert Public Library and you can usually find me up at the Jensen Lakes location. I'm so excited that you've joined us today because I have a really cool experiment to share with you. But before we get started, I have a question. Have you ever wondered how people used to tell time before there was smartphones or watches or even clocks? Well, in the ancient Greek and ancient Roman times, they used to use something called a water clock. And what this was, was a machine that would let water drip from one container to the next through a really small hole. So it would drip pretty slowly, but people knew that every time the water would get to a certain point in the container, that would be a minute. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today. So to get started, we're going to need a few different supplies. We're going to need a jar. I chose this one because it has a really wide opening here, so it's easy to get the water in. We're going to need a plastic bottle. I have one here that used to be for popcorn, but if you have something like a plastic water bottle, that would work really, really well for this. Um, we're also going to need some water. We're gonna need a little bit of tape. We're gonna need a pen. We're gonna need a small piece of paper and we're going to need something to poke a hole with. Okay, so to get started with making our water clock, we are going to start with the jar for the bottom. Now with this jar, we're gonna take our piece of paper that we've cut, and we're going to attach that piece of paper just to the side there, just like that, so that we have somewhere to write. Next, we're going to take our bottle, and I have here an old popcorn bottle, but if you have a water bottle or anything like that, or a paper cup, that would work really well for this as well. Um, if you have a bottle that has a lid, we need to take off the lid, and mom or dad needs to help you poke a hole through the lid. Um, using something like a tack or a push pin would work really well for this. I also have an awl here that I've been using to poke the hole. And once the hole is poked, we are going to put it right back on the bottle. The other thing that we need to do with this bottle is we need to cut off the bottom. This is another thing that mom or dad is gonna to need to help you with. And we're just gonna cut it off so that there's a big hole. So next, we are going to take our jar and we're gonna put the bottle on top of it. So now that your water clock is all put together, it's time to make the lines on the paper that will tell us how much time has passed. To do that, I'm gonna pour some water into this bottle um, and I'm gonna use the stopwatch on my phone here to tell me when one minute has passed. So to get started, we will pour some water in here. There we go, and push start. And then once this gets to one minute, we'll make the first line. So this is a great experiment to do with all sorts of things that you have around your house. If you take two plastic or paper cups and stack them, um, just poke a hole through the top cup on the bottom um, and it'll be able to drip the same way that this one is. Um, so that's always a really fun thing to try. Uh, you can also try using different cartons. So I have a milk carton here that I cut off the top um, and if you poked a hole in the bottom, you could set it right on top of a jar and that would give you the same effect as the bottle I have here. So any sort of container that could hold water would work really well for this. So it looks like our time is almost up now. We're at 50 seconds, so we only have 10 seconds left. I'm just gonna turn this around here. Um, so I'm ready to draw that line when it's time. So we're at 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, one minute. All right, so there's our one minute line. And we'll do the next line when it gets to two minutes. So if you're interested in learning more about time, there's a really great book at the library that's called A Second is a Hiccup. Um, and it's a really great book all about different times and how long things take. So for example, it'll tell you what sort of things take a second and what sort of things take a minute. Um, and then it goes on to tell you about hours, days, weeks, months, and years. And it's a really great book for kids who are still trying to grasp how long something is. Um, and it gives lots of examples that you'll definitely be able to apply to your own life. So you can check that one out of the library if you're interested. It's called A Second is a Hiccup by Hazel Hutchins. All right, so we're at 53 seconds here, so I'm gonna get ready to draw the next line on here. 58, 59, two minutes right there. Okay, 
So it's been a couple more minutes for me and I've let my container fill up for five whole minutes here. So I have five lines. And now when you try and use your water cloth, you're not gonna have to use the stopwatch. So just like the ancient Greeks and ancient Romans, you can use this machine to tell time yourself without any clocks or stopwatches or anything like that. All you have to do is just dump in some water. And then as soon as that water reaches the first line, you know that one minute has passed. So you could do lines all the way up your jar and see how long it takes to fill the whole jar. And the bigger your jar is, the more time that it will be able to hold. Thank you so much for joining us today and making water clocks with us. I hope you enjoy making your own water clock at home. And if you do, please post a picture on social media because I'd love to see what you've created. You can tag us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And you can also follow us on social media for more information about our upcoming programs and events. And hopefully we'll see you back here next week for another great STEM challenge. See you then!